Shea Stadium in New York City is the battleground for the AFL's Eastern Division fight for second place. The Houston Oilers, present holders of the runner-up spot, battle the New York Jets, the league's hottest team, with three straight victories. With the first quarter only seconds old, the green-shirted Jets come alive. Bill Mathis works the draw play to perfection as he runs for daylight. The 220-pound halfback gallops for 79 yards before he's caught from behind. The Jets are on fire. Rookie quarterback Joe Namath completes the swift 85-yard march with a pass to Don Maynard in the end zone. The New Yorkers light up the scoreboard in a hurry to lead 7-0. Late in the period, the Jets blast off again. Namus pass is snared by D. Mackey, who breaks away for 47 yards into Oiler territory. But the drive stalls, and Jim Turner adds three points with an 18-yard field goal. New York takes a 10-0 lead. Don Kroll mans the Houston helm. Forced to flee the pocket, Kroll's hurried throw is picked off by Willie West, who returns to the Oiler 38. <laughs> Moving to the second period, Joe Namath tries to capitalize on the break as the former Alabama star pinpoints George Sauer. Sauer speeds toward the corner and slips in for another New York touchdown. The Jets pull away, 17-0. Red Hot Jet can't seem to get enough. D. Mackey takes Namath's path 19 yards into the Oilers' secondary. Our ground-level camera watches Bill Mathis sweep the right side of the Houston defense for nine more. The Jets can't maintain the tarred pace and settle for a 31-yard Jim Turner field goal. That makes it 20 to nothing. Texas Oilman finally shows signs of life as George Blanda and Charlie Frazier team up for 13 yards. Houston leads the AFL in pass offense. George Blanda shows how it's done on a 27-yard connection with Charlie Hennigan. The 16-year veteran keeps the drive alive with a 12-yard strike to Charlie Frazier. But the New York defense steps in, forcing a 23-yard field goal attempt it's wide of the mark, and the Jets retain their 20-0 lead at halftime. Late in the third quarter, the Jets are airborne again. Joe Namath threads a 13-yard needle to Don Maynard. Let's watch Maynard on that play with our isolated camera. He runs a short sideline pattern, crossing up his oiler defender. Namath goes the other way this time. George Sauer performs the receiving chore, good for 14 yards, and the Jets are threatening. From the 22, Namath gives to Bill Mathis, who gathers interference on a wide sweep to the right. Mathis is finally pulled down seven yards short of the goal line as the quarter ends. The first play in the final period is a successful one for New York. George Sauer gets credit for the score, and the Jets up the count 27 to nothing. The Oilers try desperately to get on the scoreboard, but are foiled again. Ralph Baker intercepts George Bland's pass and returns the ball 10 yards to the Houston 35. The interception sets the stage for Joe Namath to put his high-priced wing to work. Namath explodes a bomb to Don Maynard for another New York touchdown, making the score 34 to nothing. Houston never gives up as Don Kroll tries his hand at the aerial game. Bob McLeod gathers in the ball and charts a course down the sideline. The New Yorkers set up a roadblock, holding McLeod to 47 yards. At the Jet 26, Kroll sends a quick pitch to Burrell for a 15-yard gainer, and the Oilers are close to their first score of the game. Three yards short of the goal, Kroll looks to pass. 23-year-old playmaker can't find anyone and scrambles in for the score. Houston finally breaks the ice and trails 34 to 7. The Oilers keep trying even though they trail by 27 points late in the game. 
Control eludes the trap but follows his blockers down the left side, turning an apparent loss into a 14-yard gain. From the New York 13, Prawl works the draw to Jack Spikes, who hammers in for another Oiler touchdown. The scoreboard now reads 34 to 14. Mike Tolliver takes over the jet helm. Matt Snell carries left and runs into a host of white jerseys. Snell shows why he's New York's leading rusher as he reverses direction for an amazing 47-yard trip into Houston terrain. Just 28 seconds remain to be played as rookie Kern Carson tries his hand at the scoring game. Carson finds the path to pay dirt for the final touchdown of the game. The New York Jets win an easy 41-14 victory over the Houston Oilers to capture second place in the East.